she is back in Australia to attend the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. And Nigella Lawson was thrilled to be reunited with her former Master Chef co-star Matt Preston at the opening night party for the event on Thursday evening. The two friends cuddled up close and took selfies on the red carpet. Nigella, 62, looked resplendent in a lovely lilac dress which showed off her famous stunning curves to perfection. She teamed the floor-length frock with a pair of metallic leather sandals and matching violet drop earrings. The culinary beauty flaunted her incredibly youthful visage which was enhanced by a light application of makeup. Meanwhile, Matt was dressed in one of his usual flamboyant outfits, a pair of black and white striped trousers, a black suit jacket and a green silk pocket square. It comes after Nigella appeared on the project on Tuesday evening. During an interview on the show, she revealed that there are a number of words she pronounces incorrectly for fun, after she sparked controversy for how she says microwave. The cook baffled fans with her pronunciation of microwave as micro wave in an episode of her BBC2 cooking show Cook, Eat, Repeat back in 2020. The London-born domestic goddess said that's not her only quirk. I have other words I use. You know how all families speak in nonsense words? So, you know, I use desecrated coconut, she admitted. If I get some new appliance I have to read the destructions. If I'm going somewhere I will have to text someone to say a man fruit you know, she added. It's just a joke, mispronouncing words. And what's quite interesting is I found out afterwards, I mean all families have those words in a way. Nigella also confessed to enjoying a kebab after a late night on the town. I rather like the chip kebab. So one of my favorites is flatbread, hummus, a bit of lemon zest, some salt, some chips and wrap them up. So wonderful, she said, while knocking up rich mashed potatoes with butter during a 2020 episode of Cook, Eat, Repeat, Nigella explained to fans, I still need a bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the micro wave. In a series of Twitter posts afterwards, the cookbook author was forced to reply to dozens of fans explaining the microwave joke, adding she hoped that the brouhaha would be over. Nigella insisted it's part of her sense of humor to deliberately pronounce things wrong and even joked she says Worcester as Worcester Shuster. Hoping to put an end to the discourse, Nigella tweeted, Well, I do say it like that, but not because I think that's how it's actually pronounced. She then quote tweeted herself and added, Can this be the end of it now?